Thompson here with GSI, and today we're going to review what it takes to get up and running with Oracle's new visual apps. Oracle continues to enhance the user experience and has published several visual applications to assist with various functions within your business. Today's demo is focusing specifically on the employee organization chart, JetApp. The brief agenda today is going to cover what it takes to get the new employee org chart up and running in your environment. This is a very easy and quick installation that will require an ESU, UDO pack, and then deploying those changes out via the normal deployment process. All right, we're going to cover a few prerequisites that you'll need in order to get the employee org chart visual app up and running in your environment. Uh, in order to take advantage of this visual application, you will need to be at a minimum tools version of 9.2.5.4. You will also need to take ESU JN20014. Um, I will cover the objects included in this ESU during our demo as well, just so you know what is included. You will also need to download and install UDO pack 10506. Uh, this delivers some UDO objects, specifically an E1 page that you'll need for the visual app to load. Once installed, you will need to approve and share the UDOs just as you would normally do for any other UDO that you develop or install as a UDO pack from Oracle. So keep that in mind. All right, now we are going to run through a quick demo and show you what's involved what it looks like what objects are involved etc all right so first i want to just cover what is in the actual ESU, just so you can review that first. So we're just gonna go to software updates on the web. It's actually JN20014, which is at the top. So let's go take the row exit. Let's look at the objects in here. So pretty minimal impact. It delivers only changes specific to this JET app. So uh, you should not have any issues getting this in place. Obviously, there are a couple of business views. Um, assess that risk. I would imagine it should be low for your environment. Um, if you want to review the more traditional package documentation, same thing. This is the latest ESU for this particular application. Uh, looking at the UDO pack details, so it does include one E1 page. If you're familiar with the JET apps, in general, this is what you'll find. You'll find a requirement of taking an ESU or multiple ESUs, and then also a UDO pack that generally will include the E1 page or pages that will uh, make the JET app function. Okay, so we're going to switch over here to our application. So fast path to this is just P05002X. We'll let this load. You get to a blank screen. Remember, this is a lab environment. Um, not going to emulate what you'll find. So this is test data, basically. I'm going to select this employee. So again, this is not going over the full functionality of this app. Just a brief demo so you know what the prerequisites are to get into this application. So I selected an employee that does have an org chart just for a little bit more clarity. So you can get, if you hover over them, you can get details. If you have the ability, you can write click and left click into the record to view other details. And then you can also click into them as well, and it will take you to that record. So just some brief functionality and prereqs to get you going. All right, 
I did put together some details in terms of supporting documentation to help you along the way. Uh, these include some brief overviews and then some links as well to previously mentioned requirements uh, and guides. So the first link here is Oracle's doc on the employee org chart hierarchy. Uh, similar to other jet apps, they have kind of a landing page. If you go to support.oracle.com and punch in the doc ID, it will give you a lot of what I just went over. It will give you the link to the uh, ESU uh, minimum requirement for tools and then a link to the UDO pack as well. So uh, as well as some description about what this app does, um, similar to what I'm doing just in text format, it's a good starting point. In addition, I have the Apex apps link, which will similarly send you to another page that also has a couple of other things. It has a YouTube link and also a link to the guide for this functionality. That page looks like this. So as mentioned, you get a description, you get a quick tour. The quick tour is just an Oracle created YouTube video, uh, maybe two to three minutes in length going over the functionality. Uh, similar to what I'm doing, it's, it's really not supposed to be an in-depth review, more so just a quick and dirty, hey, this is what you can get. Uh, as mentioned, you've got a link to the guide and also separate links for the feature, which is the ESU, and then also the UDOs. So both of those pages are really good starting points uh, in order to get familiar with this particular employee org chart jet app. If you do have any questions, uh, please navigate out to social media. Uh, you can follow us and review our posts. Uh, we do have some targeted material on uh, the visual applications that you can find. Um, also navigate to our website and find those. We do publish out if you're following us on social, um, you know, our schedule for webcasts that we're doing. And uh, we do have some existing ones out there that are targeting more of a deep dive into how you can use some of these functionalities with the visual applications in your environment. So I highly suggest that you follow for anything that we're publishing. I hope everyone learned how easy it is to implement this new visual application today. Uh, thanks for watching, and as mentioned, please visit our website for more material developed specifically to assist you on your journey through JDE. Thank you.